Hi everyone, I hope you had a lovely weekend. I'm here today to share a story with you. It's one of my favorites. It's called Hurry Up and Slow Down. It's by one of my favorite children's authors and artists, Lane Marlowe. I just think the artwork that she does in her books is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Isn't that gorgeous? How many different bugs and insects can you see in there? I can see loads. Hurry Up and Slow Down by Lane Marlowe. And that little mouse in his feet. Hair is nearly always in a hurry. Tortoise, however, is not. Tortoise likes to sleep late in the mornings. Hurry up and wake up and do some stretching before he leaves his bed. Hurry up and get up! Tortoise is cautious and careful when crossing the stream. Here shouting, hurry up and keep up. He likes to take his time over lunch. Hurry up and eat up. He likes to chew each leaf at least 11 times. Is 11 a real number? It isn't, is it? Is it time for pudding? What do you think Rabbit's going to have for his pudding? Strawberries. When Tortoise plays a game, he plays slowly and thoughtfully. He doesn't mess about, and he's always careful to put things away just so. Hare is shouting, hurry up and tidy up! Tortoise doesn't like having to tidy up all over again. My goodness, they've crashed. Oops. But when it is time for Hare to bounce into bed, what Tortoise likes most of all is to sip a cup of chamomile tea in peace. Hare, however, has other ideas. Can we have a story? Just one? Oh, please, please, please. You're so good at reading, Tortoise. So Tortoise opens their favorite picture book and begins to read the words out loud. Hair getting all cuddled down in his bed under the cabbage leaf. In no time at all, he reads all the words on the first page. The second page and the third page are over in a flesh. The fourth flies by in the wink of an eye, and Tortoise goes on to the fifth. He is just about to turn the page again when Hare cries, Hurry up and slow down! We need to take our time, Tortoise. We need to look at the pictures. Tortoise looks longingly at his cup of chamomile tea, which is growing cold. Then he looks at Hare and smiles and says, Let's read the whole book over again. And well, I hope you enjoyed that story, one of my favorites, Hurry Up and Slow Down by Lane Marlowe, and I'll see you all soon.